Hi, I'm Lynn Bridgeford from the Aetherbias Clinic and Aetherbias Yoga and today in our quick and easy series on burn workouts we're going to look at the arms. So we're going to take whichever version works for you. So you might need a can of beans or a bottle of water or a little weight if you have one or you can do it without. Join me in a minute. We're going to start with some of the movements, clenching the fists, tucking the elbows in, working the biceps. We're doing it first of all without weights. Feel what the muscle feels like. And so you're squeezing and resisting on the way down. That's the biceps and on the way down is the triceps. Bring the arms out to the side a bit and then bring them up a bit, bring them together. Squeezing, pushing away, squeezing, pushing away. We're also working, of course, in the back. And push up and down, up and down, up and down. A little back with resistance, back with resistance, back with resistance, down with resistance, down with resistance, down with resistance, out to the side, out to the side and in. And we're going to bring the arm up straight. And the other one, you could also do that bent. Just getting to feel the muscles first of all. Turn the hands, thumbs down, reach up, turn the palms down, reach up and down. Turn the palms towards each other and we can do that all the way up, turning the palms, turning them in. And we do that on many different angles so we keep moving. If you want a little bit more cardio with it, you can move the feet, turn the arms the other way, coming round getting to feel where all the muscles are. Palms down, palms in and crossing over, coming up, working those muscles, keeping the shoulders down, spine straight, core working. It's a little bit of a warm up before we get into doing the real thing where we're going to pick up some weights and a few circles with the arms one way and then the other way. And we're going to grab a weight. Now that you've felt those muscles and warmed up, we're going to tuck the elbows in and squeeze up, keeping the legs strong. You can bend the knees a little. You can sit down if that works better for you. Whatever version works for you. Feel the work in the muscles. So we're posing, going up and down, up and down. Or you can do one and then the other, keeping the core strong. You would feel the burn in these muscles, these biceps quite quickly especially depending on the weight. So keep that going, alternating, or both together. Or we can just do one and really focus on it. Really focus on it. Keep it going. And again, and the other. And again. Keep that working back together, together, and alternate and notice the difference of how you need to keep strong in your core to do that and feeling the burn in the biceps. We're lifting up in the deltoid. You can do a straight arm or you can bend the arm and lift up or you can do both together. If the weight's too heavy, then either ditch the weight or take something lighter. If you've got a bottle of water, let some water out. Make sure it's comfortable to grip and we can do both arms at once. Another little muscle, the deltoid at the top of the arm, that can tire quite quickly. So although we want to burn, we don't want to tire the muscles because once they get tired, their chemistry changes and then they don't work as well. So we need to give them a little rest, shake out a bit, bringing the arms up to the side. We're getting a different angle. We're also using the back nice and strong and working a different angle of the biceps and some of the brachialis muscles and resisting on the way down, resisting up, resisting down. We can do one and then the other and then you need to be really good at keeping your core strong so you don't go all over the place. Keep the breath, keep a nice straight spine and keep your focus in where you're working. You'll feel the burn. And then let the arms relax down. Just stretch that out a moment. A little turn with the arms. Rotate 
and let some of that tension out. Bringing the arms up, we're going to bring them together and back and together and back. So we're using the teres muscles from the back to the arm and we're using some of the pecs in the front. And squeeze out, squeeze in. Keep your spine nice and straight. So from the side, we're not doing anything funny with the spine, we're keeping it straight, keeping all the work in the arms. Out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. You can do one at a time if you like. Just the one and then the other. Or you can do them like windscreen wipers. A little bit more challenge on the core. Keep feeling where you're working those biceps and surrounding muscles. And in the back of the arm we're working with the teres. And let it relax down, shake out a bit. We're going to lift up a little at the diagonal about 45 degrees. And we're working a little muscle called the supraspinatus, lifting up 45 degrees. Once you go past 90, you're using a different muscle. So the angle is 45 degrees from the body, and we go up a little more than 45. We can do both together, the muscles at the top of the arm, going through to attach between the clavicle, the collarbone and the scapula. One and then the other. Important little muscle to have strong. Very easy one to tear if you fall on your arm. So good to keep it strong and flexible. Feel the burn and then let it hang down and rotate the arms. Let it hang down and let the weights gently stretch through your arms. We're going to push up with the arms. So we're using a lot of Forearm. Whenever we're gripping the weight, we're using the forearm muscles and the wrist and the hand. Everything is moved by the muscles above it. So here we're working many muscles in the arms, forearms, upper arms, and into the back. And important to keep the core strong. You can do one, and then the other, and one, and then the other. You can alternate <laughs> or bring them down. We can go up with one, down with the other. Up with one, down with the other. Keep that core strong. We're working into the back as well. The back is the connection with the upper arm muscles. And bring them down and let the weight stretch through your arms. Bring the arms up, we're going to dip down and back. Down to 90, back. If you can go a little bit further back, you're going to get into the infraspinatus. If you can't go back, don't worry. We want to keep within a safe range. And you can do one and then the other. If you have issues with your shoulder, you may only be able to go a little bit, and you may only be able to take a little weight at a time. So stay within your limits, have a good wiggle, let it shake out and let any tension release. We're going to work in the tricep, the muscle behind the arm. We're going to reach up and take it behind. So you want to keep the core strong. You can spot with the other hand on the weight if you like. Lift up and bring it down. So we're working in the tricep and stretching it, working and stretching. You need to feel safe so you can use the other hand as an assist if you need to. You can bend the knees if you need to be a little bit more stable. Or you can sit down. So we're going it quite slowly, just repetitively, reaching up and stretching, reaching up and stretching, reaching up and stretching, reaching up, stretching and bring it down. On the other side, reach up, bring the arm behind you, so you're stretching through the tricep, use the under, other hand if you need to spot, reach up and down, reach up and down, keep the core strong so you've got stability, or bend the knees, or sit down. Stretch and stretch the triceps, reach up 
activate it, bring it down. Make sure your weight is appropriate for what you can cope with. And if you have shoulder issues, you may not go very far. Still work where you can. And push up, stretch down, push up and stretch down, push up and bring it down. Coming on all fours, hands under the shoulders, knees a little bit apart, nice straight spine. And we're going to bend so that the elbows stay in line with the wrists and come down. So this will be working all the way through the arms. Keep the back straight, push away, resist down, push away and resist down. If you go a little further, gives you a different angle and push, push away, resist down, push away, resist down. Keep the core strong, come wider. If it works for you, push away, resist down, push away and resist down. If you can kneel down or sit cross-legged, you can do that right next to you. So bend, push away, bend, push away. We're taking the body weight on the arms, push away, bend, push away. So when we bend, we're also resisting and you'll feel the burn all the way through the arms. We're spreading the fingers and the palms, activating the hands, all of the forearm muscles move the hands. If you want more out of it, we can squat. Do whichever version works for you. Bringing the body above the hands puts more weight through the arms. Keep those elbows tucking in so they're in line with the wrists. Taking the arms behind again, keeping the elbows in line with the wrists. And we're working all the way through the arms, putting more effort through the triceps. You can take them further back and you get a different angle. Bring them closer. Find the one that gives you the work that feels good for you. We need to use the core, keep the chest lifting, keep the neck nice and relaxed and put all that weight in the arms. The arms tend to burn quite quickly. So keep that work going in the arms. And we're going to come sideways on the arms so we can give a little push. If you're not up to the push, you can just stay where you are. Again, keeping that elbow above the wrist if you can. Working through many different angles of the hands. If you want to do a little lilt with it, you get a different angle, a different action. Just find what gives you the burn and the workout that you're looking for. We can also turn the hand and then the elbow is going to go in a slightly different direction and you can feel a different action on the muscles. You can turn it out more, that's a little bit more awkward, so make sure that you're okay with it. And you can turn the fingers inwards for yet another angle. Feel the burn in the different parts of your arm. On the other side, we're going to keep the elbow quite closely in line with the wrist, giving a lilt and a push if you like. Find what works for you. That might take away from the burn, so you might like to stay more connected with the floor, spread the fingers and the palms. If you want to turn the hand inwards, you can do that and get a different angle and find a speed that works for you. You don't want to go too fast or too slow. You want to keep that muscle working for the burn. And turn the hand back a little as long as that's comfortable for you. And turn it in towards you. Different angle on those muscles. And you might find that one side is easier than the other. And the side that's less strong may feel a little more awkward. It depends what your dominant side is and what you do with your arms on a daily basis. You can of course do all of those against a wall, changing the angle of your hands to find what works for you. And making it lilting or static, always keeping the core working and always keeping the rest of the body in a good alignment. 
So we're going to stretch the arms, so reach out to the side, reach up, reach up above you, interlink the hands, take a deep breath in and out, reach them in front of you, lengthen forwards, curl around, lengthening through the spine. Reach the arms behind you, lengthen and reach away to stretch all the way through the arms. If you need a belt to hold, then you can do that. Take a few deep breaths. Shake the arms out. Give them a little squeeze up and down. Just allow any tension to release. Squeeze up and down the other one. Take one arm across and stretch it looking forwards or looking the opposite way. You can take different angles of that to stretch and the other side. Breathing into it, taking different angles if that works for you or looking straight ahead. To stretch the tricep, reach the arm up and behind you, put the other hand on the elbow Keep the spine in a good alignment and stretch all the way through the triceps, the ribs and the outside of the shoulder blade. And the other side, reach up and behind and stretch through that tricep. A few deep breaths, good cool down, shake it all out. That was just a few quick and easy exercises for burning the arms. So take care that you're okay with what you do, keeping your limits and enjoy the strength in your arms. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like, write the, in the comments below and go across to my other channels. I have Instagram, Lynn Bridgeford. I have Facebook channels for the clinic, for the yoga and interact with me on all the channels and I would be happy to connect with you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much.